Hello, and welcome LFI teachers to the introduction to the focus area tutorials. You recently established your beliefs with regard to blended learning and your personal teaching philosophy. In this section, you'll learn about the three focus areas, content delivery, communication, and collaboration. As you learn about each of these areas, you will decide which one area will best suit your needs and help you achieve your blended learning classroom goals. By the end of this tutorial, you should have a better idea of what we mean by each of these areas so that you can decide which one will help ground your work. So, the objectives for this tutorial are Teachers will be able to identify the three focus area goals for the Learning Futures Initiative. Two, teachers will be able to identify who each goal is best suited for. In other words, what teachers might be interested in that specific goal. And three, teachers will be able to identify how to implement each goal. So, in this tutorial, we'll give you examples of how you can implement each focus area goal into the classroom. Let's begin by taking a look at the focus area of content delivery. In other words, those who might be interested in using blended learning strategies to deliver content to their students. The goal for this focus area is the following. You might say to yourself, I want to deliver content to my students to individualize or differentiate instruction in order to provide more time for in-class discussion, group work, and projects. So if this is a goal that you have for your classroom, then this focus area might be good for you. So who might decide that they want to implement this goal in their course. This is for teachers who might have a diverse population of learners and want to differentiate instruction and learning experiences, or for those teachers who want to make more time in their classroom for higher order thinking skills and activities. So if you want to incorporate more discussion, group learning projects in the classroom, or have students apply, analyze, and synthesize their learning using a blended learning approach to deliver content might be a good approach for you. So how can you do this in your classroom? Here are a few examples. One way to deliver content in a blended learning environment is by posting diverse content and activities on an LMS. So if you have students of varying abilities, you might decide to put students in groups on your learning management system and differentiate the types of content that you share with each group of students, depending on their knowledge, skills, and abilities. You might decide that creating flipped lessons is the way to go for your students. A flipped lesson is the opportunity where you get a chance to share or create short videos with your students for homework, and then they come back to class, synthesize, apply, and or analyze the information learned from the videos. Or lastly, you might decide that you want to share differentiated resources with struggling or advanced learners. Again, if you have different types of learners in your classroom, which most of us do, you might decide that differentiating the content in a blended learning environment is what you want to do to help those students who are struggling or to increase and extend activities for your advanced learners. These are just some of the ways that you can deliver content in a blended learning environment using flipped lessons, your learning management system, or by posting differentiated lessons and resources in a variety of technology tools. 
Moving right along. Communication. With this focus area, you might want to use blended learning and technology to communicate in the classroom. You might want to communicate from teacher to student, student to student, or teacher to all students. The goal of this focus area is the following. You want to be able to provide your students with the opportunity to communicate with you and or each other. So individuals who want to extend communication opportunities with students from the teacher or from student to student or even perhaps with the student and the global world, this may be a good goal for you to pursue. Who might be interested in this goal and focus area? Those teachers who want to continue in-class discussion outside of class are interested in incorporating debate or in-depth reflections, or those who want to provide students with the opportunities to share ideas and connect globally. So, how can you accomplish this in a blended learning environment? Well, there are a variety of ways. Let's take a look at some of those. One, you can have students participate in blogs or vlogs, video blogs, in order to reflect on a topic or share ideas or connect to the real world. A blog is a personal space, similar to an online journal, where the teacher can post a topic or ask students to respond to a question in a written format. Then other students can comment on what their peers wrote. Two, teachers can create discussion boards in a learning management system or through an online Web 2.0 tool. In order for students to debate content, to reflect on a question or a topic from class, answer higher order thinking questions, or challenge each other's answers and ideas. The difference between a blog and a discussion board is that with a discussion board, there is more interaction between student to student, whereas a blog is more of a one-way type of communication. These are just two options for which students can communicate with the teacher and each other. Let's take a look at a few more. Three, back channel discussions. An example of a back channel discussion is a Twitter feed. In a back channel discussion, students have the opportunity to communicate online about a topic that is happening in class during homework, or some other time. They're also able to provide each other with feedback or share ideas and ask questions. An example of this is perhaps in a speech class when a student is giving a speech in front of the whole class. If the teacher wants to be able to provide students with the opportunity to give feedback or ask the speaker questions without interrupting the speaker, a back channel discussion is a great way to do this and to moderate the discussion as well so students could be posting questions or comments or feedback to a back channel discussion while the presentation is going on without interrupting the speaker. These questions and comments can then be discussed once the speaker is done with his or her presentation. Lastly, another example of communication in a blended learning environment is through the use of podcasts. In a podcast, students are able to share recorded ideas that can be accessed later on a specific topic over a period of time. Think of this sort of as a recorded radio broadcast. For example, students can come up with a storyline or an idea for a topic, share it as an individual or as a group, record it, post it, and allow others to listen to it and access it at a later time. Again, these are just a few examples of ways that you can use blended learning strategies to communicate in the classroom. Lastly, let's take a look at the focus area of collaboration. In collaboration, you want to use blended learning for collaborative projects and group work. What is the goal of the collaboration focus area? You might say to yourself, I want to be able to provide my students with the opportunity to collaborate on projects, assignments, and activities. If you're looking for a way to have students work together, do project-based learning, 
or work on activities and assignments in a more cohesive and organized fashion, then blended learning type strategies could be a good fit. So, who is this focus area good for? It's for teachers who say to themselves, I want my students to work together, or I want them to use technology to manage or facilitate projects, assignments, and activities. It's also great for teachers who are interested in incorporating project-based learning into their classroom. So, how can you use blended learning for collaboration in your classroom? Here are a few examples. Perhaps you could have students edit, revise, or create a document or presentation using technology. For example, they could use Google Drive to create documents that they comment on and create together. Two, you could have students create, edit, or revise a multimedia file. You could have them use YouTube or iTunes or um, iMovie in order to create films or videos or audio and work together to create these multimedia projects that they can then share with other classmates online. Or lastly, you can simply use technology and blended learning to have students share and store files that they can easily access and work on together during a class project or group activity. This can help with students' organizational skills, project management skills, and help you, the teacher, be able to access all student files in one easy place. So, again, those were the three focus areas and a few ways that you could use blended learning to incorporate them into your course. Let's review and reflect. How many focus areas are there? That's right, there are three focus areas that you can choose from for the LFI project. What are the three focus areas? Right, content delivery, communication, and collaboration. Remember, there are three, but you're only going to use one to guide your work. So, which focus area most appeals to you? Are you interested in using blended learning to deliver content? Are you interested in using communication in your classroom and using blended learning strategies to communicate more effectively with your students or to improve and increase student to student communication? Or perhaps you're interested in having your students collaborate and you want to use blended learning strategies to increase and improve collaboration in your course. Whatever focus area you choose, it's up to you to decide how to best implement it in your course. But we are definitely here to give you the tools and to guide you through the process. So, your next step is to please complete the blended learning questionnaire before deciding which focus area you want to use. This questionnaire will guide you through a series of questions and prompts that will help you better understand where you are with regard to each one of these focus areas. Perhaps you already use blended learning strategies to deliver content and you want to improve that. Or perhaps your students are already communicating using technology and you want to make that a stronger focus area for your course. Or perhaps you're already or not yet using tools for technology for collaboration and that's the area that you want to improve on. Regardless, take the questionnaire, find out your technology integration profile, and then decide which focus area best suits your needs and classroom goals. Again, remember that I, Jasmine Mendez, am here to help answer questions, so feel free to email me if you have any. jmendez at jvla.org. Thanks.